Good morning, AM UMC. Today is Wednesday, March 25th, and I am looking forward to being in prayer with you this morning. I hope that you will just close your eyes for a moment, uh, take this time to be in prayer with our Lord, maybe not even follow along with the app, but just close your eyes, uh, listen to the words, speak out loud the words that you know and the prayers that you know and the prayers that you have. Let's get started. Today's readings for Wednesday, March 25th, Morning Psalms 5 or 147, 1 through 11. You can see what Psalms you can read in the evening. And also our Old Testament is Genesis, New Testament, 1 Corinthians, and today I'll be reading the Gospel of Mark, chapter 8, verses 11 through 26. As we enter into this sacred place of prayer, let us recognize that our Lord is present. Our opening verse, But the Lord is in this holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Let us take a moment of silence to confess our sins and acknowledge our need for God's grace and forgiveness. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins through Jesus Christ our Lord, and strengthen us to live in the power of the Holy Spirit all of our days. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now and will be forever. Amen. Our reading from the book of Psalms is Psalm 5, 1 through 11. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my sighing. Listen to my cry for help, my King and my God, for to you I pray. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my requests before you, and I wait in expectation. You are not a God who takes pleasure in evil. With you, the wicked cannot dwell. The arrogant cannot stand in your presence. You hate all who do wrong. You destroy those who tell lies and bloodthirsty and deceitful men the Lord abhors. But I, by your great mercy, will come into your house in reverence. I will bow down toward the holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness. Because of my enemies, make straight your way before me. Not a word from their mouth can be trusted. Their heart is filled with destruction. Their throat is an open grave. With their tongue they speak deceit. Declare them guilty, O God. Let their unrighteousness be their downfall. Banish them for their many sins for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may rejoice in you. For surely, our Lord, you bless the righteous. You have surrounded them with your favor as with a shield. As I read today's gospel, Close your eyes and listen to the story. Walk with Jesus in Mark chapter 8, verse 11 through 26. The Pharisees came and began to question Jesus, to test him. They asked him for a sign from heaven. He sighed deeply and said, Why does this generation ask for a miraculous sign? I tell you the truth, no sign will be given to it. Then he left them, got back into the boat, and crossed to the other side. The disciples had forgotten to bring bread, except for one loaf they had with them in the boat. Be careful, Jesus warned them. Watch out for the yeast of the Pharisees and that of Herod. 
They discussed this with one another and said, it is because we have no bread. Aware of their discussion, Jesus asked them, why are you talking about having no bread? Do you still not see or understand? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes but fail to see and ears but fail to hear and do not remember? When I broke the five loaves for the 5,000, how many basketfuls of pieces did you pick up? 12, they replied. And when I broke the seven loaves for the 4,000, how many baskets of pieces did you pick up? And they answered, seven. Do you still not understand? They came to Bathsheba, and some people brought a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside of the village. And when he had spit on the man's eyes and put his hands on him, Jesus asked, do you see anything? He looked up and said, I see people. They look like trees walking around. Once more, Jesus put his hands on the man's eyes. Then the eyes were opened and his sight was restored and he saw everything clearly. Jesus sent him home saying, don't go into the village. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. As we respond to today's readings, let us affirm our faith by reciting together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he arose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Let us continue in prayer and pray boldly the prayer our Father taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. As we listen to this prayer of intercession, let us use it as a time to focus on him. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all the nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Now, as we take a moment of silence together and lift up to the Lord our petitions, intercessions, and thanksgivings, Lord God Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the filling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Son, your Son, our Lord. Amen. And now, as we go, may we go with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all, now and evermore. Amen.